Hey guys, what's going on? Luis here again. And today I wanted to make a quick video on why you should be removing the things that don't serve you from your life and from your daily routine and whatever the case may be. And that includes many different things, right? It could be work related things. It could be things in your morning routine. It could be people. It could be physical things that you have around you that just don't serve a purpose in your life. And the reason why I'm making this video is because my little sister actually sent me an Instagram post earlier this morning and it kind of made me think a little bit about how people see things um, and how people see personal development, right? So the Instagram post said something in regards to like, you shouldn't be a personal development project and it's okay to put down your gratitude list. It's okay to put down the self-help books. It's okay to kind of just lay back and relax so that you can enjoy life, right? I very, very much so agree with the statement that, you know, is being said in that. I also disagree with it in the sense that it's coming from a place where the things that you're doing to improve yourself are pretty much a task, right? And I think a lot of you can kind of relate to this. And I'm sure some things might feel like that, especially at the very beginning when you're just starting off, but it's not the case and it's not how it should be, right? It's supposed to be healthy. It's supposed to be sustainable and it shouldn't become a task. It shouldn't feel like a chore when you're doing those things. You should enjoy them. You should see and test for yourself how something makes you feel, how something makes you come off and how it gives you energy, right? So for example, with writing down, you know, the things that you're grateful for um, and that sort of thing. And this this is something that I've personally experienced, right? So, and, and, and the thing is that in, in the personal development world and the entrepreneur world, you hear a lot of bullshit uh, for lack of a better word, right? And you have people like Gary Vaynerchuk that are constantly saying, you know, you need to be grinding 24 seven and it's true to an extent, but it's also not sustainable, right? So you need that time to recharge, to, you know, bring yourself back together, assess what you've been doing and then move along accordingly. You don't want to be, you know, grinding day and night for years and realize, okay, I'm doing things that aren't even working for me. Um, and I'm doing them just because this book said so, right? So for example, again, with the gratitude journal, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? If I have a planner and that I used to essentially just write in every single day, right? And I would go and it had different sections. It had a section where it planned out my entire day by the hour or by the 30 minutes. And I just block time depending on what I had to do that day, what I had planned my morning routine and all those different things. It was very uh, um, ritualistic in the sense that it was almost the exact same thing every single day, right? And I did this for a while. It also had a section where I got to write down things that I'm grateful for, like the, the three things that I'm grateful for today, my three you know biggest goals and uh, the top priorities for the day. And then you would have like, towards that, like at the end of the day, you would fill it out and it would tell you, you know, this is what uh, I'm grateful for today. And this is the things that I learned today. And it's really good. But the problem with me was that it became, it started to become a chore and I didn't want to do it anymore because it was very repetitive. And to the point where like, I would literally, cause I, I, I started doing it on my iPad and like I would I I would get to the point where I just wanted to keep this streak going in my head because oh I, I can't break the streak so I just have to do this and like I found myself some days literally just copying and pasting into the next page, uh, obviously making some changes but like that's not how it should be it shouldn't be a chore it shouldn't be something that you have to keep doing every single day you should be doing it because it's actually bringing some form of value to you and so I stopped doing it and. I've been doing it in, in a, di a little bit different way where it's just like the task for today, like the most important things that need to get done, right? Like your, my non-negotiables, 
Um, and then I, I just think of what I'm grateful for without necessarily writing it down. And I want to get back to a place where I actually write down the things that I'm grateful for, because there is science that backs the fact that, you know, if you write things down, it's just better for you. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out essentially how I want to do this. And I actually listened to a book called the how of happiness. I forgot the, the, the name of the author that, that wrote it, but I just listened to it on audible and she kind of talks about this, right? To where like there, there's literal science and studies that are done that tell you, you know, like if you write what you're grateful for, if you write this sort of thing down, it's really good for you. But there's also evidence, uh, like hard data that shows you that it it shouldn't be a chore. Like you can't go in and do it every single day because it kind of loses its value. Um, and in regards to writing down what you're grateful for, it actually talks about not doing it on a daily basis because of that exact reason. It just becomes, you know, it just becomes uh, a thing that you're doing because you want to keep the streak going or you're just going with the motion at one point and it, it just loses its value. So you don't want to do that. It, it actually talks about doing it um, like once a week so that when you're doing it, you're intentional about it, you're meaningful about it, and you're doing it because it's providing you with value and not just, you know, okay, I checked it off my checklist kind of thing. Um, so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of information out there, right? There's a lot of books, there's a lot of opinions, and that's something that I think people should understand is that literally everything that you read, everything that you see, everything that your brain processes that is outside and, and, and sometimes inside of your own mind, right? These are just opinions from uh, other people that have their own problems. They're dealing with their own things, whatever. And the truth is everything you read, books, um, you know, everything should be taken with a grain of salt because like I said, it's just opinions. It's just somebody else's opinion and just because it's it's on a book and it might look like it's important and it's a bestseller it doesn't mean that's going to necessarily work for you so the idea is you should be doing things that are serving you right if for example i'm writing down on this journal and i'm spending 30 minutes a day on it uh i think i was spending much less on it to be honest but if you're if you're writing things down on a daily basis just for the sake of writing things down you should probably stop right if you're doing anything just for the sake of you know oh if I don't do it, I'm going to break a streak. You should probably stop because you're not being intentional about it. You're not actually finding anything of value from it. And it's not necessarily serving you because it's actually just taking away energy from you that you could be applying into different things. Um, so I would say, you know, audit everything that you're doing. Think about how you feel when you're doing it and really understand, you know, is this something that is giving me energy is it something that is providing some form of value right and that could come in the button in a lot of different ways it could be financial value it could be emotional value that it makes you feel good it could be long-term value but whenever you realize that you're just doing something for the sake of doing it you're doing it wrong and you should stop doing it and again when it comes back right to to that that post that was shared with me the things that you're doing shouldn't be a task. Like there should be, um, there should be value in them. There should be purpose and intention when you're doing them. And at the end of the day, if you're doing those things, it's because you want to improve. It's because you want to become better. It's because those things actually make you feel alive where it's, that's exactly what this post is talking about. It's, you know, stop doing those things because they're sucking energy away from you. The truth is those things should be giving you energy and they should be driving you and moving you forward and helping you live a better life. And if that's not the case, then you have to go back to the drawing board and see what you're doing wrong because those things should be, you know, why you want to wake up the next day. Um, those things should be, you know, what's keeping you up at night uh, in, a, in a positive, you know, light, not like I'm, I'm, up at night because I'm stressed about it. I partly agree with the post in the sense that, you know, if those things are taken away from you, if you can't do things that you enjoy because now you have to spend time, you know, writing down your gratitude journal or writing down your goals or whatever, then 
you probably should stop doing them. If those things are bringing value to you, if they make you feel good, if they make you feel alive, there's no reason at all why you should stop doing them because they're giving you a, a sense of, of, of purpose. They're giving you a sense of, you know, being. And so moral of the story, right, is audit the things that you're doing. Take a look at, you know, write them down, like spend some time, write down whatever you're doing on a daily basis and say, is this providing any sort of value to me? If it is, keep doing it, keep your momentum. If you realize, okay, this specific thing is actually just taking away time for me. Um, I haven't seen anything positive come from it in the past week or in the past, you know, seven, uh, in the past month or whatever the case may be. Why are you still doing it? Take some time, audit whatever you're doing, uh, you know, whether good or bad. And obviously if it's bad, you'd want to get rid of it anyway. And, and you're probably working on that, but if, if you're doing things that seem good because other people said that they that they're good for you but you don't get any any sort of value from it if you're not getting any good feelings out of that and and it's actually draining your energy then you should stop doing it and perhaps look at you know how could I do something similar in a way that actually brings something to me right so these things should bring energy um, the entire world is just a bunch of energy right so if something's draining energy from you you don't want to spend time with that, right? Whether it's a task, if it's uh, a person, if it's a relationship, if it's whatever the case may be, if it's draining energy from you, you know, you don't want to do it. If it's giving you energy, you you want to do it. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, if you guys like the video, subscribe, follow, uh, leave any comments below, any questions, whatever you guys want. And thanks for watching. Super short video, but I, I thought I really wanted to get this out there. So thanks for watching.